Hi, this is Jim Pellerino. We have a lot of uh, suburbanites, I assume, and middle class people protesting on uh, on Wall Street. I, I'm fine with that. Um, one of the, one of the things that uh, that I heard is that um, now pe people are protesting because they've lost all hope. One of the things, Salente, that guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, right? Uh, seemingly, damn near anything. Uh, uh, one of one of his quotes, the voice of Rio there, like from the Bronx or something. Uh, voice of Rio. Um, and money stops trickling down to the people on the street. The blood starts flowing on the street. Okay, well, basically what history states is that, uh, actually, uh, when conditions are improved, are, are starting to improve, that, oddly enough, is when revolutions start occurring. And I believe uh, we hit a low in 2008, and it went on throughout 2009. Then things started getting better, and things are better right now. They're not they're not good, but they are better. And it, and right now, as things are starting to improve, now we see people protesting. There. Yeah. Wall Street and in other areas of the country. This follows um, this follows the pattern of history. Like people that aren't doing so well, things start improving, then they revolt, then they have the revolution. This occurred in the Soviet Union. Things were getting better in the Soviet Union. They had the President uh, Mikhail Gorbachev, you know, and Glasnost, and all that. Situation started improving in Russia. Then that's when the revolution happened there in Russia, in the Soviet Union. The same thing is, I think, you can see right here and right now with all these protesters on Wall Street. And the protesters do have it correctly here. They are protesting um, the power infrastructure. It is. In, on Wall Street and with the Federal Reserve banks, and it's not with Congress or or, or on Washington D.C. or politicians. You know, those our elected officials are not the power structure. There are people that own our politicians. That's where the power structure is, and that's on Wall Street with the lobbyists. You know. In the big money interests. So I think you you might you might be surprised here and find a revolution that's that's starting to occur here in America. Starting off slow as a joke. Oh, here's 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 women pretending that they were sprayed by pepper spray by the cops. You know, it's all lie. Um, fictitious arrest, this and that. But you know, it's growing. It's, it starts off as like total fucking fraud. It's growing. Now I hear people uh, wanting to protest uh, outside the houses of like like Jamie Dimon and, and Lloyd Blankfein and, and these and these rich vulture peoples and the CEOs of the organizations that they work for, and they are. I mean, they are vultures. The um, various people selling stocks, they have a criminal mentality. That's the only way their mind operates. With that, with that at one occupation in particular, stockbroker, that, their mind is that of a criminal.
So if there's a revolution that occurs here in America, it just fits right into the paradigm of history. Things starting to things went bad, things start getting a little better, then the revolution happens. More power to you.